people say that the ASMR creator's imagination is always at work, that they are constantly inventing an endless supply of characters to portray, scenes to paint, and auditory triggers to delight you with, that they simply dream up narrative concepts out of thin air. This is patently untrue. Nothing is ever a first edition. But so long as you maintain your ability to look, listen, and absorb, the ideas will seek you out throughout your YouTube journey. Now, this concept was told to me through film as I here present it to you. In a somewhat similar way. In September of 2020, I believe you, the viewer, decided to spend the length of one YouTube video at the Grand Atlas. A colourful, quaint and almost photoshopped establishment. I expect some of you will know it. Or hotels like it. Because it's a very derivative premise. Perhaps owing to the format of a hotel check-in roleplay, you initially found some familiarity with a rather charming concierge named Atlas. Look at him there on the phone, wearing a bow tie. What a legend. He donned an exceptionally bright jacket and had a quiet, almost imperceptible whisper of a voice. Hello, and welcome to the Grand Atlas. May I please take your given name and surname? He inquired of you. Okay. I must note here that while guests to the hotel typically didn't experience a fast check-in, just one second, please, they found Atlas's very particular patter uncommonly relaxing. You know, writing keyboard noises, layered sounds, soft-spoken personal attention, you know, classic, good old-fashioned ASMR. Aha, uh -huh. you've got our finest suite, he noted, one that's hosted world leaders, esteemed dignitaries, captains of industry, legends of the theatre, Hollywood royalty. It's a stately, expansive suite offering a double king bed, a master bath, a walk-in shower, and a very spacious living room. He continued to boast, rest assured you're in the absolute lap of luxury. Not a talkative one, are you? That's perfectly okay. Now, once you've made yourself comfortable, I'd like to formally invite you to... Yes, what do you want? What do I do with the bow ties by the window? Put the roses by the window and the bow ties on the roses. My charming colleague is going to pour you a glass of the Pouille Jouvet 26 while you're waiting. Now this is from our special store. There are only a few bottles of these left in the world. And they're for our most special guests only. Here's to you. The hotel preferred their guests were pampered and spoiled, so as to distract from the rather odd assortment of staff. Would you like a fond and fancy? They're rather good. Atlas proceeded to stuff a fond and fancy in his mouth for some reason but later realised that he just wasn't about that mukbang life. I'll leave them here for you. So, edited the sounds out. No, so you'll have to be a bit closer than that if you're to understand what I'm saying too. Because, on the way back there, the whole experience doesn't really stop you from back there. Yes, good, you're back now. As I was saying to you, the whole experience doesn't really... 
Yes. As I was saying before, you might need to be a little bit closer if you want to hear me. Atlas all of a sudden appeared sad, and after an appropriate amount of time, you inquired as to why. Oh, it's nothing. Please. It's just that. His voice cut off as he fought with his emotions. You remind me of somebody that I used to know. He signaled to you and beckoned you in closer. Let me tell you about my predecessor, my counsellor, and my guardian, a concierge named Atlas. Also. The hand that bought them and the heart that fed. And on the pedestal, these words appear. My name is Ozymandias, King of Kings. Look on my works, ye mighty and despair. Nothing besides remains. No, not now. Round that decay of that colossal wreck, boundless and bare, the lone and level sands stretch far away. Listen to these words. I hope they soothe you in time. Come, we must get you ready. Straighten your cap. What's on your lapel? No, I don't like it. Get it off. What are you wearing on your hat? No, it's not that I don't like it. It makes me physically ill. Yes, arm up. Arm up. Yes, other arm. Good, yes, other arm again. Yes, straighten your bow tie. Straighten your bow tie. Okay, good. Now, Atlas, I have a task for you. You must run down to the bakery. Run down to the bakery and fetch me one pan of chocolate and then one other pan of chocolate after I finish that pan of chocolate. Tip the baker, for he's a dear old boy, and then run down to the flower market. Picking up a bottle of Tommy's 12 year on the way. Pick up 10 red roses and then on your return, put the roses by the window and the bow ties on the roses. Yes, okay, go away now. And that was the last time I saw him, for he was taken away shortly afterwards and shot. Which, uh, to be honest, is a fitting way to go because I had really underwritten him in this video. Atlas was my mentor, but he was also my friend and my confidant. What more is there to say? Come, we're almost fully checked in. Will you be dining with us this evening? You indicated your availability. The duck roasted with olives is particularly good, I'm assured by our world-class chef. Atlas suddenly checked the time. It was late, and he knew you ought to be getting to sleep. Eleven o'clock. I've been talking for quite long enough. Atlas over there will show you to your suite. And please, if you enjoy your stay, and I trust you will, kindly let others know of your experience. And please leave a comment in the box below. Thank you. And welcome to the Grand Atlas. And there we have it. Some light escapism inside a familiar riddle. Inside an enchanting maze. Mm. Please feel free to tell others about your experience. And do leave a comment in the box below. Thanks for watching. <laughs>